Okay, so I'm going to show you how you can use the RoboShadow Network Scanner app to do an internal and an external vulnerability assessment of your network. So if I click Self Pen Test, what it's going to do, it's going to take my external IP address that every network broadcasts to the world. Obviously, mine's obscured here for security reasons. It's then going to ask you to disable your Wi-Fi. Now, what this does is it allows us to use your phone SIM card to conduct an external vulnerability test of your network. So uh, you have either quick or slow. The quick, as we'd advise doing first, the top 1,000 ports that are used, and slow, that's the full 65K range, maybe do that after. So had I have clicked on one of those buttons there, it would have given me a uh, external penetration test report like this, where you can see um, the showdown data, which is the hacker search engines, what the world knows about your external IP address and the vulnerabilities that may be for advanced users, but also any um, web pages that you're broadcasting to the world, um, any banners and any uh, uh, any vulnerabilities as well. So it also once you if there are any open ports, ideally you don't want open ports here. If there are open ports, then please get in touch and we can help you work out if you can shut them down or not but you can click the scan internal network which will then rescan your internal network ask you to re-enable your wi-fi which will then allow us to see if we can find any of the devices on your internal network which are broadcasting um, externally and there's a nifty feature just to remind you to repeat in maybe three or four um, um, uh, months time or something like that so the device scan is an internal device scan. And what I'll do is I'll just show you how to kick off this. It will then, um, uh, uh, ju just for reference, uh, you can use this if you're going to an Airbnb and you want to see if there's any cameras on the network or anything like that. This will do a full inventory scan of your ho whole network and it's very handy. I'll show you how to do that in a second. But to do the actual internal penetration test, just like we did the external, you click all, scan ports and either a slow or a quick and that will go ahead and I'll just show you what that's looking like. I'm doing an accurate scan but you can do make that a fast scan. You can see that it's also um, would tell me if it's highly uh, using high amounts of CPU or resources on my phone. Uh, while that's actually running I'll go to one that I prepared earlier for that. So an, a report that will come out at the end will then again show me any web pages, any banners that we're showing to the world or any vulnerabilities that we're showing to the world. And it will be a complete map of all of the internal devices. Um, as I say, any vulnerabilities, but also any ports that are open. And you are also um, able to get a report that you can then um, send to yourself if you wish. Um, and again, um, just a bit of a report that you can email out to your co-workers, friends or colleagues or anything like that. So that's the internal device scan. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel that. Uh, I will just clear these devices down. That's what the screen looks like when you first on. You just basically click scan and it will start uh, scanning your network. So a couple of other features that I just want to show you. Individual port scan, just if you've got one external port or internal, um, sorry, IP address that you would like to scan. And then the favorite section allows you to download either from OneDrive or Google Drive or iCloud or something like that, a CSV file that then allows you to show me that other scans completed. It then allows you to click all and then again, kick off a scan, which will then, uh, uh, um, I, I won't do that because I'm running another scan in the background, either slow or quick, and it then allows you to get a device scan at the end of it. What the reason that this is uh, particularly useful is if you look after lots of networks or lots of different network segments or servers, you can just load a CSV file into your Google Drive or OneDrive or something like that, and then periodically pull them in and run a network assessment. So I think that, thank you. For, I think that's it. Thank you for watching, um, and please download the RoboShadow app from the Google Play Store.